That lunatic woman, Sep himself wouldn't step in her shadow. I'd stay off this path, lest she demand some humiliating task from you. A madwoman named Lady Laurent. She hired me in the Alakir to guide her through the desert, but this is as far as I go for her. She's already lost one of her traveling companions. I won't be the victim of her next accident. Ask her. I didn't stick around to hear her explanations. Though excuses would be a better word. Everything is somebody else's fault. Huh. Expedition is ruined. One catastrophe after another. Oh, we meet again. You wouldn't happen to be interested in performing a few light duties, would you? I'm in need of a temporary assistant. I'm conducting research into ancient Yokudan ruins to see what light they cast on modern Redguard society. Fascinating, but not without peril. An alchemical experiment led to my assistant becoming, uh, incapacitated. But I hope to recover him. Oh, quite. Stibbon should recover once I reverse the process. All my supplies are at my new camp, through these ruins. We'll need to get some things here, then go to my first camp at the dig site. Which, unfortunately, has been overrun by goblins. Goblins? Certainly not. I've been studying the local gargoyles. I believe they're the key to certain Yokudan myths and legends. It's my own theory. Now, I'll need you to retrieve my supplies, and then perform Stibbon's duties in his absence. My alchemical gear is at the new camp, through these ruins. You'll have to find where Stibbon set it up. Be careful with it. It's delicate. Once you've collected that, we'll move on to the old camp.
Let's get on with it, shall we? Stibbins isn't going to revive himself. Yes, most satisfactory. Stibbins would have dusted them off as well, but one mustn't be choosy, must one? Now, off to our first camp at the dig site, where we'll find my man Stibbins, shall we? I'm back, Stibbins. Glad to see you haven't run off anywhere. What a hodgepodge. How is one supposed to find anything in here? Please, pay me no mind. I didn't expect to react so strongly to seeing poor Stibbins in this state. <clears throat> now, where did he put those notes? I suppose you should know the truth. Ancient inscriptions here described some unique alchemical processes, which I tried to duplicate. I fear I succeeded all too well, and Stibbins's unfortunate condition is the result. Yes, but I'm certain I can restore him if we find his... Uh, uh, my notes. Stibbins put them in a safe place somewhere in this camp. I'm sure you can find them. You're ever so handy at that sort of thing. Julianos' little teapot. Where could they be? Oh, praise the divines. You're a lifesaver, Stibbins. They're, I mean, whatever your name is. At any rate, give me a moment to read these over, and I'll know what I need next. Ah, oh, yes, now I recall how it was. Stendar smite them. The goblins took my reagents. Would serve them right if they ate them, the wretches. Hmm. That gives me an idea. I need to develop an antidote for the Yokudin stone flesh potion. And to be safe, I'll need to test it on other research subjects before applying it to Stibbins. So I need the original reagents back so I can make more of the stone flesh potion. So we can use it on the goblins, of course. Once they're petrified, they'll be the test subjects for my antidote. Let's go recover my reagents from those beasts. Then I must check my notes against the Yokudin inscriptions, if I can find them again. These writings are very old indeed. How gratifying! Oh, this is a curious one. I must have missed it on my first pass. in an instant. He 
rather useful in your own way. Meritorious work. Now, according to my notes, I just need to combine these reagents and shake the vial. Indeed it is. It's up to you to administer it, of course. You should probably pour it into whatever noisome slumgullion they're brewing up in those cookpots. While you're attending to that, I'll consult with our hireling guide. Oh yes, his name's Mare. He's rather a crazy old hermit, but he certainly knows his way around these old Yokudan ruins. He lives in a nearby cave overlooking the ruins. Hermit's Climb, they call it. I tried, but he refused to go near the goblins. Besides, he's quite mad. He's become entirely preoccupied with some ancient Yokudan riddle. You'll see when you meet him. Perhaps you'll be able to talk some sense into him. Still as the stone that walks, yes, they remember, you know. They carry their histories etched in their flesh. Hearken, Wayfarer. They were here before the walls rose, and they are here after. And yet some mock these lowly creatures for worshipping them. What folly! The flying stones hold the secret you seek in their unyielding flesh that is not flesh. There are no dunes without wind, yet when the wind is gone, the dune remains, eh? Tons of stone, young seeker. Tons of stone. You see? Quite maddening. And all I have to go on are these similarly arcane inscriptions from the ruins. The Yokudan inscriptions are mysterious. Frankly, I'm baffled by them. But Mare has dropped hints that he knows what they mean. I'm sure he could tell me what I want to know, if I could only figure out how to give him what he wants. He wants the answer to the riddle of the inscriptions. He'll tell me my answer if I'll give him his answer, or something like that. It's maddening. Stibbins would know what to do, I'm sure. He was always good at seeing what's right in front of me. They contain the key to the antidote for my stone flesh potion. Somehow, the gargoyles inspired the early Red Guards to experiment with their own flesh and bone. If I could only understand their cryptic inscriptions, I could master their alchemy. Have answers. Answers are more to me than water. Answers. Answers. A riddle? No. The riddle. The one these ruins whisper every night. The one that hums through the walls when the sun beats upon them. You know whereof I speak. You've read the three inscriptions. If you haven't, what are you waiting for? 
No, no, you are blithering. Concentrate, Seeker. Ignore the importunities of the hovering eyes of flame, as I do. No, no, do you think I have not thought of that, God's wallop? Invert your concepts. You speak like a child licking its first fish. Air. Yes, that's it. The breeze. The breath of Tava. Ah, devious Sep. You wind a fateful path in this desert. Here then is your answer. Within the maw and between the teeth. The gargoyle cannot hide its mortality forever. The tongue, of course! Arcay's beard. Could anything be more disgusting than this gargoyle's tongue? Oh, one must make the best of it, I suppose. Now, how to prepare the antidote? That's why I had you dose the goblin's stew. Do pay attention. Several of them must have been petrified by now. I've prepared several versions of the antidote. I'll need you to apply it to the petrified goblins and record the results. Well, I shall have to somehow drag Stibbins back to the other camp. It's a bother, but there's no help for it. Once you've observed the results of your trials, meet me back there with your report. That data should enable me to concoct the final antidote. Did you use all of them? I do hope you paid close attention to their effects. That's... just what I was counting on. Right. Now I know how to adjust the concoction to make a working antidote. Oh, soon Stibbins will be right as rain, thanks to my brains and your brawn. Now see here. 
Your lack of confidence in me is quite unjustified. I know exactly what I'm doing. All right, stand back. I've no doubt these results will be spectacular. Now, if my calculations are correct, this should take effect almost immediately. Oh, by Xenathar, I have an acute throbbing in my cranium. Could this be what a hangover is like? Possibly, though I'd like to take time for a more detailed inspection. How long was I asleep? Is Lady Laurent all right? A statue? Are you jesting? No, I can see you're serious. I recall nothing. I seem to be intact, although perhaps a trifle stiff in the joints. I could certainly use a strong... That is, I believe I have a bottle of medicine that will help me. There. See, I told you it would work. Indeed I am. I know you may not have much experience taking risks like this, but sometimes you just have to follow your instincts. Regardless, I owe you my thanks. Why, if Stibbins were stuck as a statue forever, I don't know what I'd do. I think I... Uh, we have accomplished quite a bit in this short time. With Stibbins rescued and our notes gathered, I think it's time we returned to civilization and compiled our conclusions. It will be a scholarly sensation. Wait, please, stay your blade and listen. Our orders were to look for Red Guard insurgents in these ruins. Sounded simple enough, but then the spiders showed up. Legionnaires disappeared. By the time we figured out what was going on, two-thirds of my company was gone. Please, help me. We've had our fill of this whole damned campaign. Bankerai Garrison, Holland Stand, now this sandpit? I'll take my troops and go. It's simple as that. We'll head back to Cyrodiil to fight the real war. You have my word. Will you help or not? Take this ice room. It should make the webs brittle enough for my soldiers to break free. 
Good luck. I'll live. Shortly after I sent out my last scout, another one of those damned spiders attacked the camp. I kept it from biting me, but it battered me with its legs. I just... just need a minute to pull myself together. One by one, my soldiers started complaining about voices, seeing things. At first, I thought it was insurgents playing tricks on us. By the time I figured out what was really going on, it was too late. Well, I'm not exactly sure, but I can tell you this. It's more than simple spiders. Something or someone is manipulating these beasts. Manipulating us. This place is evil. I don't intend to stay a minute longer than is necessary to secure my men. Holland Stand is under Imperial control. It has been for a while. Only the Eight know why we bother taking it. Anyway, there are supposedly rebels out here in the ruins. Supposedly. I haven't seen anything but rubble and spiders. Without much trouble. The way I hear it, someone opened the gates from the inside. That's rumor, though. How could I be a Breton? What was I thinking? I should have known a pretty little Breton lady wasn't interested in me. It was just that we had so much in common. She was quiet, she wanted to be a mage, but it was all a lie. And now I'll be kicked out of the guild. Lady Edwige, most beautiful woman I ever saw. I met her last night near the mage's guild in Holland Stand. We talked, shared a jug of Zet's tears. I thought she liked me. She asked to borrow a book from the guild, and like a fool, I got it for her. Vindication for the Dragon Break. Seemed innocent enough, but as soon as she got it, she called me a beefwit and walked away laughing. I guess I am a beefwit. If I don't get that book back, I'll be kicked out of the guild. Would you help me? She brought the book here. I followed, but it's a witch's coven. Dozens of them. Trying to use the book for some evil ritual. I'm just a novice. I should return to the Guild Hall in Holland Stand. If I'm not here when you return, meet me there. Uh, maybe something to do with turning back time? Edwige mentioned something like that. But that's just a guess. I caught a glimpse of them chanting in there. Didn't seem to work. Edwige was cursing like crazy. I guess being nice was just an act. Only what we learned studying the history of magic. It was a catastrophic experiment conducted by members of the Alessian Order. They were trying to remove the elven aspects from Akatosh, but they wound up tearing the fabric of time, or something. I am. You are too, aren't you? Look, I know how bad this looks, but it's teaching me a valuable lesson. If you can help me get the book back, nothing like this will ever happen again. No reason the Magister needs to know about this, right?
you see those witches back there? I followed one here from Holland's stand. She tricked me. The dung heap wench. She stole one of the books from the Mages Guild. Me? No. I've never seen you before in my entire life. Besides, I've only been here a few minutes. Say though, if you already know about the book, I don't suppose you'd be willing to help me get it back? Yes, this is the right book. Just saw the witches using it a few minutes ago. I don't understand how this happened, but I sure do appreciate it. If I get this book back to the guild hall fast, they might not even notice it was gone. If only I could turn back time. Just a few hours. Spiders. Hardly. My imbecilic brother-in-law, Najan, has put my sister's life at risk. My dear Adina is trapped somewhere within these ruins. I must get inside if I'm to help her. From the look of things, I'd say she's been claimed by a servant of Mephala. The Daedra has some kind of ward on the door. A clever but futile gesture. The barrier is powered by an alien spell key. A simple relic, easily dealt with. Unfortunately, it's being protected by several focus stones. Destroy them so we can get in. Good luck. Yes, you appear wise and well-traveled. Surely you have heard of her. Mafala is the demon prince of murder, secrets, and seduction. Some call her the web spinner, like a spider. Mephala is always weaving a web of intrigue and terror. Unfortunately, I believe my precious Adina has been ensnared. Directly? No. I doubt that Mephala would take an interest in the affairs of a goat farmer and his wife. But the web spinner has many servants. A secluded ruin, a foolish, lustful farmer. Such an opportunity might be hard to pass up. 
Of course. This ruin hides all manner of secrets, one of which is a spell key. 3,000 years ago, we might have needed a whole host of mages to break its hold on the door, but now, it's a brittle relic. Exactly. The Daedra must have sensed the fragility of the key and empowered the Focus Stones to protect it. There's something akin to Welkin Stones, albeit larger and more unstable. It shouldn't take much effort to break them. Well, yes, there's the spiders, but I'm sure there'll be no trouble for a hero of your stature. As far as the strength of the ward, the Daedra probably didn't have time to prepare. It may simply be stalling until it can complete its ritual. Yes, it's complicated. I apologize for being vague, but every minute we spend talking is another minute that my sister is in danger. I promise you I'll explain more when you've dealt with the Focus Stones. Look, it's the stranger who saved us. I thought I was dead. Pieces of my life, family, friends, adventures, regrets. I could see it all. I can't even begin to tell you how thankful I am you got me out of there. My soldiers have been returning one at a time. Some still complain of numbness. Some are half blind. But they're alive. That's what matters. Thank you. Yes, of course. To oblivion with this whole campaign folly and the Seventh Legion. As you can see, my men are securing their gear and preparing for the march back to Cyrodiil. It's a long journey, but it'll be good to fight where we're needed. As weary as we are, we can't wait to be on the road. I was so eager to see the world when I joined the Legion. Now, I just want to see home again.
You made it. And I sense that the focus stones have been dealt with? Well done, hero. Now that the focus stones are destroyed, I can deal with this infernal spell key. We should be able to enter the ruins in short order. As I said before, the spell key is a brittle and aged relic. I'll weave a simple enchantment, and that should be the end of it. Take care, my friend. The spell key is going to become unstable. The effects may be... Explosive. Now, we have some grim business to discuss. I pray that you will have the strength of will to see this through. It's the ritual. I did not have the heart to speak of it before, but I can't put it off any longer. That fool Najan told me that the Daedra has been abducting people, it is, no doubt, collecting them for a summoning ritual. Yes, it plans to summon its true form here, to Mundus. It will need living sacrifices to do so. We have to... deprive it of those living offerings. Please, do not think of it as murder. Look around! These people were dragged below by some of the most venomous spiders in all of Tamriel. The toxins they were injected with... Victims do not recover from such encounters. None. They are beyond help. I beg you to look on this as a kindness. Their souls will find more comfort in Aetherius, I assure you. Take my talisman. It will make it easier. Use it on any victims you find, be a true hero, and set them free. That should do it. We can enter the ruins now.
I know you have the strength to see this through. Is that you? Oh, beloved Gupta, help me! It can't be! Anexial, please! I beg you for Morwa's mercy. Release my sister! Oh, stranger. What have you done? The woman you are escorting, a oh, wayfarer, she is not my sister. The Daedra Anexio has taken control of her. Yes, I'm sorry. Forgive me. When my sister heard that I had been taken by a Daedra, she came to rescue me. I was possessed for, I don't know, hours, days, weeks? My memory is nothing but screaming and dancing shadows. It's all so foggy. Muddled. She drew the creature out of me and into herself. She was gritting her teeth and screaming. Oh, it was horrible. She said she was going to put up wards before the creature overtook her to keep the monster out. Yes, yes, Wayfarer, just so. Don't let it win. Silence, creature. Adina's the one possessed. The Daedra is trying to trick you. Don't believe its lies. No. You must believe me. You can't let it finish the ritual. You can't... So long as that thing lives, so does the ritual. You have to kill it to end this. Please, listen to me. If the ritual completes, who knows how many innocent lives may be lost? We can't wait any longer. She's already free of her bonds. Please, in Rupka's name, use the talisman and release her! Have I not earned your trust? I've had countless opportunities to attack you, to slay you, but I haven't. Did I not tell you that Mafala is the Prince of Secrets, the spinner of lies and mistrust? You are being- Look into your heart. Have you been wrong this whole time? Is your compass that broken? I don't offer comfort, but I do offer truth. My sister is lost to that thing. It breaks my heart. But we must... Listen to me, Wayfarer, please. That is not my sister. Not anymore. You can't believe it's lies. It's... it's manipulating you. Because what I'm saying is true. Oh, I've never been good at speaking my mind. Please, stranger. If there was, I would have told you already. What's that in your hand? Is that her talisman? In my trance, I heard a voice. When it wasn't screaming, it whispered about a talisman. A talisman just like that. If you use it on my sister, it might draw the creature out. Right. 
Bravo, mortal. Your powers of perception are strong indeed. Unfortunately, twins share the same blood. How vexing. Pity I didn't think of it sooner. It might have saved us all a great deal of talking. The ritual is complete. And my first act will be to reclaim my body and destroy you. Walker's breath. What have we done? I don't know. I thought it needed me. But Azara was my twin. We were bound by blood. It must have been enough. To Walker, be kind. Yes, it might still be weak from the summoning. Onsi protect you. I'll see to my sister. Delightful fiction. Oh, yes. Come closer. Mm, how strong you look with my minion's blood on your hands. Someone as mighty and well-traveled as you might already know. I am Mephala, the Lady of Whispers. A fair question. I don't often come to greet those who would slay my servants. But you, oh, there's something different about you. The scarred wrists of a cold harbor slave, yet such a regal bearing. Trying to do? Oh, no. <laughs> you strong, beautiful fool. Do you think she failed? A marriage ruined, a sister slain, souls lost, families broken. And to think... All of this began with a wayward goat. <laughs> what a gorgeous and horrifying tapestry. What a predictably mortal question. Small, great, the same. Each thread tugs the other. Petty jealousy, an unintended slight, dog-like lusts. These are the things that bring empires to ruin. Think on this, my dear. I'll be watching. Did you kill that thing? That sounds like an ill omen. Mephala spoke to you? The Daedric Prince? I hope for your sake that it was something else. Let's get out of here. I can't bear to stay here any longer. Have you seen my husband, Najan? We should go to him. In all our long years together, I never raised my voice or called him out on a lie. I cooked his food, I cleaned his shirts, I minded his goats when he was away. I did all of this gladly. But no longer. Yes, I want him to know about the suffering. My suffering and my sister's. For once in my life, I want him to truly see me. So he'll know what he's done.
Adina? Oh, Adina, my love. Thank the eight, you're safe. Hold your miserable tongue, Snake. I'll not hear more of your lies. Adina, it was all my fault. I know. Zit's tears, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I didn't. You must have after a Daedra, you filthy cur. A Daedra! After all I've done, all I've sacrificed for you! I know. I know I failed you. Failed us. But if you'd only... No, Najan. I will not. Perhaps if you'd come and face the monster yourself. But instead, you sent my sister? Izara is dead because of you. Dead? By the eight, Adina. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Adina? Please speak to me. I've lost everything. I... I don't know. Just don't know. Adina, my desert star, I've lost her forever, and for what? Not until after it killed the woman I sent into harm's way. Izara faced spiders, Daedra, ancient magic. All I did was stand here and bleat like a lamb, afraid to face the thing I set free. Ancestors, forgive me. Yes, of course. I'm sorry. For everything. Gods, what have I done? It's good to be free of him. With my sister gone, there's nothing keeping me here. I have never seen the sea. Perhaps my days in Bangor I are over. We lie about like whipped dogs. Ufa drags his feet, waiting for aid. Can he not see that none comes? The Imperials hold our city. We were taken before our swords could leave the sheath. There's a traitor, my people whisper. For now, we wait. Wait for the Covenant to send help and the Imperials to tire. But you don't seem like the waiting type. I warn most against entering Holland's stand. But you might help us in our resistance. Go to the alchemist shop in town. You'll find like-minded people there. The Imperials won't let you pass in peace, but any of their blood spilt blesses the sand.
new face. What's your business? We don't see a lot of travelers these days. What brought you here? Hmm. You want to speak to Ufa then? Too bad no one knows where he is. Even if we did, can't say he'd even want to talk to you, seeing as you're a stranger. Yara might see you, though. She's upstairs on the balcony. And don't think you can try anything. I'm not just here for my good looks. And Yara is more than capable herself. I don't think we've met. And I don't think we need to. And I hear the Imperials have spies everywhere, so why would I admit to being someone they want to kill? That said, I know one thing Imperial spies wouldn't do. Arm their enemies. Across the way is a guarded warehouse. If someone took weapons from there, it'd be a blow against the Seventh Legion. And I hear the stable hand knows the people who need such weapons. Someone who did that, I could trust. Can't you see I'm doing my work? Or are you harassing me because I don't bow my head to the ground before the Imperials? Why would I want those weapons? I'm no friend to the Resistance, or to the Imperials. I just want to work in peace. Is that so? Let me fix them for you then. There. No one will suspect you carrying sack smelling of the stables. Ones who need these wait in and near the town square. If you're caught, we've never spoken. I name no names, but seek the poor near the town square. Ask if they've seen a cat with red fur, and there will be your answer. are strong of late, and bring us much to consider. Red? I have seen such a cat, though not lately. Do you bring news of this Red Hunter, or something else to ease our sorrow at its loss? A most precious gift. May the gods smile with favor upon you. I'll keep it safe until the time comes, and our mutual friend returns. And may he return soon, for all our sakes. These old eyes see you. Come, come. You did not see me, did you? No one sees the poor, the sick, the oppressed. You help these people of Holland stand, but for what? You put yourself in harm's way, but why? One of the destitute, no more. I have nothing except my eyes and ears, and I see Yara wants to trust you. But she cannot. Not until now. She will look for signs of treachery and find none. But even that will not be enough. Unimportant, but here is how she will. She waits by the tavern, as she was spying on you. Go to her. 
clasp her hands, and tell her that the Red Asp lives. Ah, I was not expecting you. How did you... Never mind. What news have you? One of our allies passed with a peculiar bag from the stables. It's good to know you were the one to supply it. Well, then, I think it's best if we go our separate ways. Though you helped considerably, I can't take this risk again. What? How do you know this? The wind is truly at our backs. I've misjudged you. My apologies. We've been watching and waiting ever since the Seventh Legion took our city. Now's the time to act. If you'll forgive my initial rudeness, I need your help. Let me share what we know. The Seventh Legion took the town under cover overnight. Some say a traitor opened the gates to their army. It's the only explanation, but we don't know who the traitor is. We... Not what, but whom. I've set up a meeting with someone who may know the identity of the traitor. I'd like you to talk to her. My contact's at the tavern, just as I requested. She'll be reading a book. See what she knows, but be careful. I'll return to the alchemist shop on the other side of town once you go to meet with her. Yes, I will wait for you there. Maybe Ufa has already gone there himself. Keep ever watchful for traps. Did Yara send you? She said to meet her here. It's more of a feeling. Call it intuition. It's better if you see it with your own eyes. Can you come with me to my home? It's best to continue our conversation in private. The Imperials may know your face by now. You can disguise yourself as one of them for the time being. They don't dare raise a hand against me, so I'll be all right. If you're ready, I'd like to go now. Follow me, but be discreet. With a disguise, the soldiers won't give you... Thank you for your discretion. I'm rather concerned about what's going on in Holland Stand, but it's not a good idea to say so in public. You see, it's my husband. You misunderstand. My husband is Captain Dakir at Niemer of the City Guard. I think he betrayed us. I couldn't bear to ask him. To see the hurt in his eyes and the shame that must surely be there. But he's keeping something from me. And I fear the worst. Soon after the Imperials came, our daughter disappeared. And my husband speaks with the Imperials, carries sealed messages back and forth. I don't know what to think. Search his office. It's upstairs. See what you can learn. I can't bear to look.
dare you go through my things? What are you doing in my home? Did Quatrius send you? I've done everything he's asked. I won't suffer any more humiliation at his hands. Oh, Kizma. I wish I didn't have to keep such secrets from you. By Mara's heart, I don't know who betrayed us, but it was not me. I am little more than an Imperial lackey now regardless. They have her, our daughter. The Imperials kidnapped her and hold her as a hostage. I debase myself before them for her safety, and I would do so again if it means she will be returned to us. Now go, please. I've seen the girl. It's not too late. The couple despairs, but all is not lost. Nothing is without hope until the last breath. Let me tell you of their child. Come, come. The Imperial fool Quatrius believes he's invincible, and in a way, he is. If one were to raise a blade against him, his soldiers would surely cut down the child out of spite. But there are other ways to cow a man. Not how, but where. Go to the pavilion in the shadow of the palace. You are already armed, armed with the knowledge that he is a coward. With that, you must defeat him. Away with you. Can't you see I'm busy? We're simply enjoying the fresh air. After all, who would want such a flower to wilt in a dungeon? Now be gone before I have my men remove you. What? It's complete nonsense. Oh, I see your point. Well, what did you want from me? Fine, fine. Run, girl, before I change my mind. Now the guards will be back any second now. Don't think you can threaten me again. Papa! Keep it down, you'll wake the dead. Papa! Hazi, I am where the birds roost. Come! I thought that brute was going to kill me. Thank you, stranger. I never expected to see my daughter again, yet here she is. You are like sweet water from Tava's winds, stranger. This is your doing? You freed my daughter? I am truly blessed to have such aid from a stranger. With no promise of reward, you saved my family. Here, take this key. You will do far more good with it than I. The Grandea's chains. The Imperials made me capture her and bring her to them. I fear they want to publicly execute her in order to cow the citizens. If anyone can save her, it would be you. A thousand blessings upon you. The shame I see. Seems you've poked a hornet's nest. I hope whatever you did was worth it. They have the Grandea? That is troubling news. You've been busy then. But what news of the traitor? 
Do you know his identity? You are mistaken, friend. Master Ufa, you're truly alive. Did I not send word with our friend here? I spoke to the captain after you left. He was more than willing to help, after the good turn you gave him. The traitor is well within our grasp. Don't you recognize the old beggar without his rags? <laughs> I've been following you for quite a while. Even my own followers suspected nothing. Dakir and Kizma will never forget what you've done for them. You've been a great boon to the Resistance. Once we have the traitor in our hands, we'll have all the pieces we need to assault the Seventh Legion. The Captain's men know how to find him, but I don't know where these men are, or if they're still among the living. They won't work with me, but may consider you an ally. You must find them before the Imperials do. Seek Aisha, Nasira, and Runeed. Their peril is our opportunity. I'm sure they'd rather work with us than with the Imperials. Ask about, search houses, but above all, be discreet. are not without their casualties. Be sure to pay them back all the damage they're owed. That's what he said. What do you want with this old woman? Everybody knows Aisha caught the rat in the act. She was boasting about it in the town square right up until the Imperials flooded in. If you're looking for her, I'd check her home. The Imperials might have gotten there first, though. Probably only a matter of time before the Imperials anger everyone. I told my friend he could come with me, but he's too attached to this city. I suppose I understand that. I'm only here to visit my friend Runeed. He invited me to see his hometown, but then these Imperials arrived and he told me I'd be safer somewhere else. Haven't met any other townspeople. Ah, then you'll probably find him still at his house, praying for the gods to intervene. He's a fool, but a good-hearted one. Down the street a bit. Although, that said, all these desert houses look alike to me. You don't look like one of the Seventh Legion. Why have you come? He's in hiding, the rat. He is named Maradem. You'll have to find a way to lure him out into the open if you wish to find him. I'm not sure where he is now. If I knew that, I'd be after him myself, wouldn't I? Fear 
Richard, she's a looker. Someone who knows what they want, yes? How can Nazir be of service? There are people all around us. Particular ones? This one cannot say. Not without some convincing. Ah, you are a... Someone who knows what they want. I wondered if someone would find me, before they finished me off. He's a womanizing piece of scum who'd sell his own mother to make a few coins. Ask at the tavern for Niha, his latest courtesan. She'll tell you where he is. I should have slit his throat when I had the chance. Well, he wasn't there when I last checked, but it's been several hours now. There's a tavern he's gone to before to meet his latest mistress. Check there. Not my usual type, but business is slow. What can I do for you? Perhaps. Many know Mardem. Not many will admit to it. I've met him once or twice, but I don't know where he is now. Do you know what would happen to me if I betrayed Mardem? Or any of my contacts? No, I can't help you. Now go away before someone sees us talking. You have little choice, Nia. Ufa, you're alive. Nia will help, for the good of us all. But I understand her fear. We must be cautious on her watch. If anyone suspected her involvement, that would mean her end. We still need information from the wretch. Fortunately, I know of a simple way to extract it. Across the way lies the Mage's Guild. Talk to a man named Razin. Ask him for his specialty. It's a potent sedative only he makes. I'll set a trap for Maradem with my dear Niha's help. Once you have the powder, take it to the Drowsy Owl Inn upon the hill and get the rest of the details from her. You can see your destination from here if you need to get your bearings. Something I can help you with? I'm rather preoccupied, so make it quick. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm just a simple apothecary, friend. The rogue. Sometimes I wish the Imperials did find him. Here's your powder. It'll paralyze in a matter of moments after being ingested. Take care you don't breathe it in. Dembert keeps complaining about the Imperials, but I'm just happy they've left us alone. If there's anything I can help you with, just ask. I never tell the truth. Those aren't worthy of it. The 
this occupation won't last. We Red Guards won't labor under an Imperial yoke. It's not in our nature. To be honest, I'm surprised the peace is held this long. There's a bottle of wine in the alcove for you, though I've no idea what you'll do with it. I'll serve it to Maradem, and then you and Ufa can do what you must. But after that, I'll have no part in what comes. Wait here. I brought you refreshment, sir. Niha! Always so good to me. Let's taste this fine concoction. A strange flavor. What kind of wine? Who are you? What have you done with Niha? What was in that wine? How dare you? Whoa. What's happening to me? T did you poison me? Please, give me an antidote. I'll tell you anything. She's in front of the palace. I have the key for the stocks, but they guard her exceptionally well. They'll execute her within the week. That's all I know. Now please, give me the antidote. I'll give you the key. Bleating like a cut lamb, I see. Ufa, I thought you were dead. That was the intent. Get the key off his body and leave him. Need to work quickly. Who knows when the Imperials will decide to execute the Grandea? I'm free. Let the people know the time has come. Light the two watchtowers. We must rise up against the Imperials. We must not falter. Go! Light them! What is it? I'll be all right in a moment. Go light both watchtowers as quickly as you can. It's the signal my people await. Time. They ready themselves for battle. We will hold the palace while you take out the Imperial within. We must all move quickly. She's in no shape to fight. I can't imagine what torture she must have endured under the Imperial's reign. You are our symbol, friend. Our symbol of freedom. 
There's no time to waste. We must strike now, but the Imperials will have time to make preparations. Go inside and slay that Imperial Sadas Secundus like the dog she is. We don't know what kind of forces she has with her. We're counting on you. I've heard a lot about you. Finally, we meet in person. Bold. I like that. It's unfortunate you've picked the wrong side. The Legion needs more soldiers with that kind of attitude. No matter. Holland Stand will be our stronghold in the Covenant, and no upstart shall challenge that. Did you think I'd let anyone walk in here unchallenged? You are a fool, as are the rest of them. I'll enjoy watching you die. you again, Secundus. Sadas, the people of Holland Stand demand your surrender. If you won't surrender, your life is forfeit. I'll make you an example to these dogs. They must pay for what they've done to our town. You've done it. The Seventh Legion will be our prey. The Imperials had no chance. We took them by storm, and without their leader, they had nowhere to turn. What few are left will fall easily. You were the linchpin for it all. The Grand Air will have something to say too, no doubt. Here she comes now. What Proud is it? people of Holland Stand, we have won the day. A stranger to our city was the Spark. Let us never forget this, or those who fell in the fight. And here is the savior of my people, my city, and me. We are all in your debt, friend. We must rebuild. The Imperials tore apart our fine city, but we will rise from the sands. You have given us this chance. Forever will Holland Stand remember your work and your sacrifices. <laughs> <laughs> 